All right, hey guys, I'm here wearing my McDonald's hat. I've got my burgers because I'm about to talk to you about long division and how we can use it. Does McDonald's serve burgers roasted as our strategy for how to do long division? All right, so as we know, when we divide, we have several steps we have to follow in order to do long division. Does McDonald's serve burgers roasted? Starts with the same letters as divide, multiply, subtract, bring down, or repeat in remainder. The D in does for divide, the M in McDonald's for multiply, the S in serve for subtract, the B in burgers for bring down, and the R for roasted for either repeat or remainder depending on what step of the problem you're in. So we can often think to ourselves, does McDonald's serve burgers roasted to help us remember the steps to do long division? Divide, multiply, subtract, bring down, and then repeat or remainder. So I'm going to work you through several problems using this does McDonald's serve burgers roasted strategy. I've written the problems this way to remind you of which number actually goes in the house. So we have 124 divided by 8. The first number always goes in the house. It's your dividend. So I draw my house and I write the first number, 124 divided by 8. The 8 wants to get in the house. So how many times can the 8 go into the house? So we're going to use our steps. And if you'll notice, I have does McDonald's serve burgers roasted over here. I've also got that division sign, multiplication sign, subtraction sign, and arrow for bring down, and then my repeat or my remainder arrow. So I'm going to follow each of these steps. The first thing I need to do is think to myself, D does divide. So how many times can 8 go into 1? It can't. We know that you can't fit a size 8 foot into a size 1 shoe. So I'm going to put a 0 over the top and I'm gonna make my line longer. How many times can eight go into 12? Eight can go into 12 one time because the M multiplied, what is one times eight? It's eight. I can't go in anymore because I would go over 12. Eight times two is 16, that's too much, so I will go over 12. My next step is subtract. 12 minus eight, I can't do it, so I've gotta borrow, is four. My next step is B for burgers or bring down. And I would expect to see that arrow showing me that you've brought it down. And then my R is repeat or remainder. Here's the trick. Anytime you bring something down, you have to repeat. You're not finished yet. So we're going to repeat. We're going to go right back up to the top and start the whole process over again. Does or divide. How many times does 8 go into 44? Well, I know that 8 times 5 is 40. I could do a little cheese dip over here on the side and do 8 times 6 is 48, and that's going to be too much. So I know 8 goes into 44 five times. I'm going to put that up on top. I'm going to ask myself, what is 5 times 8? Because I'm on multiplication. 5 times 8 is 40. The next step is to subtract. So I will subtract 44 minus 40. And then the next step is bring down. Do I have anybody left to bring down? I do not, so I am finished. So this R is, doesn't stand for repeat this time, it stands for remainder. My quotient is 15 remainder four. Now there's one other part of uh, division that I wanna talk to you about, and that's how to check your work in division. The way we check our work is with a boomerang. We're gonna throw a boomerang, not really, but here's what we're gonna do. We're going to draw ourselves a boomerang right up here on top. We're going to put the boomerang around our divisor, or the number trying to get in, and our quotient, our answer. And do you see how I have that multiplication sign in the, in the uh, middle there? If I multiply my divisor by my quotient, that boomerang should come right back around and give me my dividends. So let's give that a try real quick. I'm going to look at 15, which is my quotient. I'm going to ignore the remainder for just a second times 8, because remember, I'm doing exactly what it says here in the boomerang, 8 times 15. 8 times 15, I'm going to do some quick math here. 8 times 1 is 8 plus 4 more is 120. Now what I need to do with my remainder is add my remainder in at the end. And then I want to peek inside your brain. Did I get my dividend? I absolutely did, so the answer is correct. All right, let's try another one. In this case, we have 543 divided by three. If you'll notice, I've got does McDonald's serve burgers roasted written over to the side with the division sign, multiplication sign, subtraction sign, a bring down arrow and a repeat arrow. That's to help me remember my steps. All right, when I look at a division problem, the first number goes in the house. 
The second number is trying to get in. How many times can three go into 543? Then I'm going to start my steps. Does or divide? How many times does three go into five? I know that's one because one times three or multiplied by three is three. I can then subtract, which is my next step. Five minus three is two. And then I'm going to bring down. And I'm going to bring down my four and show you your arrow. You can only bring one digit down at a time. Once I have brought down, I brought somebody down so I know I have to repeat. I go right back up to the top and I start the whole process over again. How many times does three go into 24? That's an even fact. I like it because three times eight is 24. So I put my eight at the top. Eight times three is 24. I subtract. That's an easy one. I look to see if I have anybody to bring down. I do. I bring down my three with my arrow because I brought somebody down. I have to start over go right back up to the top again. And now I divide. How many times can three go into three? That's an easy one. One time, one times three is three. I subtract, get zero. Do I have anybody left to bring down? I do not, so I am done. So that R stands for remainder. And in this case, I do not have a remainder. Now remember, we can always check our work by throwing the boomerang. I can draw my boomerang around my divisor and my quotient and then I multiply them. So what is 181 times three? Three times one is three. Three times eight is 24. Three times one is three plus two is five. Did I get my dividend? I did, so I am correct. All right, let's try this one. 872 divided by five. First number goes in the house, 872. Five is trying to get in the door. How many times can five go into 872? I've got does McDonald's serve burgers roasted over on the side with my uh, division sign, multiplication sign, subtraction uh, sign, arrow to bring down or arrow to repeat. And I'm gonna start. How many times can five go into eight? It can go in one time, I know that. So what is one times five? One times five is five. I then subtract, eight minus five is three. Do I have somebody to bring down? I do. It's a seven. I bring down my seven, and because I brought somebody down, I'm going to go back to the top and repeat. How many times can five go into 37? Five goes into 37 seven times. Seven times five is 35. I subtract. Seven minus five is two. Three minus three is nothing. And then I look to see if I have anybody to bring down. I do. So bring down my two. Um, and now, because I brought somebody down, I have to repeat. How many times can five go into 22? It can go in four times. What is four times five? It is 20. I subtract and I bring down. Do I have anybody left to bring down? I do not, so I am finished. So this R is actually my remainder of two. Now I want to check my work. So I'm gonna throw the boomerang. And I'm going to multiply. Remember, I'm going to multiply the whole number of my quotient and ignore the remainder for just a second. 174 times my divisor, which is 5. 5 times 4 is 20. Carry my 2. 5 times 7 is 35. Plus 2 is 37. Carry my 3. 5 times 1 is 5. Plus 3 is 8. And now I go back to my remainder and I simply add my remainder in. And I get 800. And 72. It's the same as my dividend, so I did the problem correctly. All right, my last example is 567 divided by 4. Let's set it up. 567 goes in the house. 4 wants to get in. How many times can 4 get, go into 567? I don't have my letters on the side, so I'm going to really quick add them, and this is what you need to do on your paper. Does McDonald's serve burgers roasted? That stands for divide. Multiply, subtract, bring down, and repeat, or remainder. So the first thing I'm going to do is divide. How many times can four go into five? Four goes into five one time. What is one times four? It is four. I'm gonna subtract, five minus four is one, and I look to see, I have somebody to bring down, so I bring down the six, and then I repeat. How many times can four go into 16? That's an even fact, I like that, that's four times. Four times four is 16. I subtract, I get zero. I look to see if I have anybody to bring down and I do. So I bring down my seven. I brought somebody down, so I have to start over. How many times can four go into seven? Just one time, what is one times four? It is four. I subtract, 
I get three, and I look to see if I have anybody to bring down. I do not, so I am done. So my R in this case stands for remainder. I can always check my work by throwing the boomerang. I draw a boomerang around my work. I look at the whole part of my quotient, 141 times my divisor, which is four. Four times one is four. Four times four is 16, carry my one. Four times one is four plus one is five. And then I need to remember to add my remainder. So I get 567, which matches my dividend, so I am correct. So this video was meant to help you learn the steps of long division using the saying, does McDonald's serve burgers roasted? Divide, multiply, subtract, bring down, and repeat your remainder.